Well, welcome to Seafernal Channel, guys. It's another crazy sky right here in Velarta. This is some of Ken's work. He's one of my researchers that jumped on board the first year. Uh, we're going to go through east sunrises, west sunsets, and sunrises. Just watch. I don't have to point a lot out. Just keep an eye on the time and the date, and I'll help too. Keep watching. Also, folks, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you like the video, thumbs up. Share this with a friend or two, you know. Also, let you know we're on Facebook, um, Seafernal Channel Facebook. And uh, keep an eye out for our um, Last Day TV, showing you all kinds of events, not just the sky, everything. Blowing the trumpet. Got Jesus. So how's everybody doing out there on this late Friday night? Like my birds? I'm not going to have those birds around for long. I'm going to get rid of them. They're too noisy tonight. I got too much good footage for those birds. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing okay? Um, thumbs up if you're doing okay. Uh, late night, see for all. They took my live streaming, guys. I'm sorry. They took my monetization first. They abandoned 160 videos. Which I'm rebuilding and showing you. Um, so I've, I've moved shop over to a lot of Facebook stuff. Because they have um, some really cool features. You know where you could do this watch party. So I'm watching Prey Party. And I'm calling it Last Day TV. And the reason I'm doing that folks. Is because I could show you the riots. I could show you the floods. I could show you the earthquakes. The volcanoes. I'm showing everything. And I'm showing the gospel. I'm doing little mini concerts. I'm doing little um, sobering little things, cartoons, animated stuff about Jesus. I mean, if you guys find something really good, you find a capture, uh, fireball, lightning, plasma strikes. Uh, there's so much stuff going on, I need help finding it all on Facebook. It has to be on Facebook or as a place I could download it and I can re-upload it on Facebook. So I'm learning all that right now. Um, it's going to be an awesome platform for all of us out there. I know some of you guys don't like Facebook, but neither did I. But if it's got the tools, you know, you want to jump on, right? So keep an eye out for good stuff, good material, right? Um, everything. You know, the loud sounds they're finding from the Space Force, the fake NASA program, the Atlantis program, the Sun Simulator. You guys... Bring me the little clips. I want them like two, three minute, four minute clips on Facebook. Uh, send it to my timeline. When I see it, I save it. And a lot of times I'll take it off the timeline or I'll leave it on. Depends on how good it is, you know. So keep watching. Come visit. Come visit. Come visit on Facebook. Um, I think there's a link I can send you guys. You don't have to be part of Facebook, but you could join the watch party. So I'll, I'll find out about that, all right. So I got my lady singing here like an angel. So people, you might ask yourself, why does Seafernal keep showing this stuff? Because it's getting more intense. People are getting more fearful. Be not afraid. Be not afraid.
guys know the sun does not set in the east, right? Okay, let's keep that straight. But there's a lot in this picture, so keep watching. Uh, we did a little bit of um, dehazing. I saturated a little bit. I wanted to bring the colors out. This is facing east coast. Facing towards the east coast. So, you have a lot of oxide in the sky. You see the purple over there on the right. There's stuff going on right there on the left. That brownish cloud. And the upper bluish clouds. And you got planets in the background. You can almost see them. You know, um, it's what it is, right? You know, people, I wasn't going to show this because it was just, you know, it's so anime looking. Um, but I really wanted you to see the colors, you know. Um, I didn't add any colors in here. These are the colors that are in the sky. It's all the oxide. It's all that rusty uh, debris from the tail of the dragon or the tail of Nemesis. You know, um, I would say Planet X and the Pisces and stuff is right on top of us. I mean, it's so big you couldn't see it if you wanted to. It looks like it's part of the blue sky. It's just strange, guys, what's going on. Uh, look up, and people are starting to tell me, all of a sudden, I'm starting to see it everywhere. I said, yeah, your eyes are opening up. So, your eyes are opening up, people. Now, I want to speak to some of you guys that are really anxious. You have an anxiety attacks about this whole planet thing. Remember, when Moses came to Pharaoh's time, he, uh, you know, he was a little anxious too, I think. He had his brother Aaron help him. You know, and this guy split the Red Sea. So, you know, darkness came, blood came, the whole thing, the whole polar shift came. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a couple scriptures, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. That's Jesus. Okay, let not your hearts be troubled, people. You believe in God, believe also in me, Jesus said. John was talking, you know, right in John 14. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Whatever that anxiety is, let it be known to God, people. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. So now if you're not saved, that's kind of hard. But if you are saved and you're not doing it, it's okay. Start doing it. You know, trust in the Lord, right? So let the peace of God rule in your hearts, in which also were called in one body, and be thankful. You will keep him a perfect peace whose mind has stayed on you because he, he trusts in you. So if you're starting to trust in the Lord, you'll see what I'm saying. Okay, so there's the scriptures on being anxious and worried. Now look at this shadow on this picture. I've been letting it go. Don't be worried. Don't be anxious. God loves you people. God's got you here for a reason. Now, I want to encourage you with this right now. Return of Jesus Christ. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep. Those are your ones who passed away. At least you sorrow as others who have no hope. You guys have hope that know the Lord. You that don't have the Lord, you're going to meet him tonight. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so... God will bring with him those who sleep or those who are dead in Jesus. So your loved ones are going to go first. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep or dead or passed away. For the Lord himself will discern from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump trumpet of God and with the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them 
with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. That's why we say here, there, in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. You know, people, the, the Lord says for us to comfort each other, to talk about this. And, and half the church, 75% of the church don't believe in the rapture or the, or the gathering or the hapazo. Whatever word you want to put on it, it's basically you're being shanghai and taken to heaven, protected from the wrath to come. And so I'm going to read a little bit more. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we shall be changed. So some Christians are already dead. They're already asleep. But we will be changed. Some of us right now are going to be changed pretty soon. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay, guys, so I'm just trying to encourage you here. The Lord's coming back. Don't want to forget that. You want to eagerly be waiting. So, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ today. Who also said, men of Galilee, why do you stand here gazing up into heaven right now? The same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in like manner as you saw him go up into heaven. That was Acts 1, 1, 1. Like that 1, 1, 1. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior Jesus Christ. So now we're not just looking for a planet X here. We're also looking for an encounter with Jesus. If he doesn't actually come back and take his church, he can still come and change your life tonight. Let me see if I got one more of my treasure here. Um, beloved, now we are children of God and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when we he is revealed, we will be like him for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has the hope in him purifieth himself just as he is pure. See, so you wonder, will I make it? Will I be worthy? Look, if you got the hope that Jesus is coming back, you're purifying yourself every day. You're watching and praying. Even with me, you're purifying and sanctifying your soul every day. So guys, one of the purposes of this video was to share some of this stuff just like this. While you're chatting with people you don't know that are praying for you. This is a setup by the Holy Spirit. So keep watching. It just keeps getting better and better. I'll throw some music on.
So right there on that shot, guys, you see how bright that cloud, you know, and then when I started doing the filtering, I was like, this is just a cloud. When I started seeing that edge on the bottom real straight like that, I blew it up a hundred times. You know, that was a hundred, probably 800 times, I think. I mean, look at the edge on the bottom of that thing. Look at the clouds are grabbing it, which I'm thinking there is some kind of UFO stuff going on there. And they're just trying to hide this in a huge planet reflecting the sun or just huge sun simulator lighting up. I don't know. You got me, people. Cray cray.
Well, good morning, people. It's Saturday, 11.56. I'm still working on this video from last night. Um, and I've determined not to rush these to really give you a good video. It takes a couple, two or three days. And I got a lot of reruns running. I got stuff on Facebook's going on. But you see, what I just got done showing you, I did not even know it was a stellar core or a big old lit up planet um, at all in that cloud. And then this is one month later, give or take a couple days, you got this giant red oxide cloud at nighttime, and uh, you've seen the V-ship in it, and then you also seen that it um, that it could be at all the uh, obstacle cluster group, OCG, right? Obstacle cluster group is moons, asteroids, all that. So, you know, I'm just trying to bring you better content. I found that little nugget of that planet. I didn't see it at all last night. So that's why it's good to check on your video the next day and look at it really careful. Even after you filter it, you find stuff you would never have seen without that filter being on it. So keep watching. Um, this video is actually really cool. I like it. I'm getting to like this video really good right now. That OCG's got something in it and I want to find it.
Okay, okay, let's get started here. What I'm going to do is just show you a few pictures that came in, like on this one set of sunset pictures right here. Okay, you can see in the middle there, there's one that was pretty bright. Um, I didn't filter that. That was the actual colors. Um, on that one, I believe Ken caught one that was just extremely colorful he said I didn't know if his camera did it or what but so what I did was I used that as a, a goal line and um, I built the whole video the whole I made the whole video on that level you'll see right here on this next clip right here so I said okay I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it all up to this intensity and see you can see you know don't take nothing away right there's the originals um, this one right here, you can see the, the shadows in it. So, of course, I want to bring the shadows out a little bit. And so I did. Um, not a whole lot. As much as I could, you know. Um, sometimes I get a little bit darker than I should go, but I think it makes a nice movie. Makes a nice, uh, ambience. Or, yeah, ambience. Would be the word ambience, right? Or now this one I didn't do a lot to it. It was the camera itself. I don't know in Velarta the camera or this is not Velarta. This is um, Porto Cetus somewhere like that. Um, I got to look at my cheat sheet. Anyways, Colima. But these two on the east coast, looking at these two, I'm thinking, what am I looking at? I was like, I'm looking at two light sources coming up. One's red. One's got a hint of yellow, and um, the question is, which one is the sun? And what is that, a big dark blue planet right in the middle? <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, Ken sends this stuff to me, and I have to make sense of it, because uh, my mind just goes, what? <laughs> so it's running about 2.30 here. And so I'm late night with C. Fernald doing some hyped up filtering, guys. And so, I'm just showing you, I look around, look for the best parts, you know, look at the ripples in that cloud, guys. You got to bring that out now, you know. This is what I look at. I go, okay, see those ripples? I got to bring that out. I got to bring it out. Yep, right there. You know, are those V-ships lined up on that red cloud? I mean, come on now. I didn't talk about all that in the, in the video. But right here, you could just see the originals. You could see the, what's happening on the reflections. So, um, this is, I got it right now in a maximizer. It's called a maximizer. Okay, and you can go up to a thousand times. And on the right here, you'll see the yellow bar on the right. I'll bring it up. Now, right, what I'm doing right there, I'm using my wheel on my, on my, on my mouse. And I just zoom in on it. But if I bring it up a thousand times, and I'll do it. Um, sometimes you can't bring it up. Now, right there. Yeah, I see that right there. Now, this is... Uh, I remember this. This is east, facing east. Look at this, guys. I haven't used these pictures yet. You didn't see them in this video. But you see that little... Um, right there in the left. Real small, right over that mountain. Some of the pictures have it. It's coming up. And um, this is late at night, too. And this is right here. This was a, I think, I would, yeah, so this was a sunrise. But I was just looking at the same area a second ago. I had that little red planet. Now, this is. Mm, Another shot of Colima sunrise. Okay. So the deal is the first shot I was showing you was sunset. And you see that little red plant, that little red sun coming up over that mountain. So you'll see those in the videos. And this, this stuff I got stuck on because it's so beautiful. Look at that. I didn't have to do nothing, guys. I didn't put no filter on any of this yet. This is just raw footage. This is how Ken sends me the footage. It's pretty pure, you know. 
So what I do is I go in there and I'll dehaze it. Now right there, I'm just going to magnify it right there. I magnified it about, oh, I don't know, 350. Yeah, 340, something like that times. And it, it, with this maximizer, you don't lose any of the um, pixelation. Um, I'm learning how not to stretch stuff too much, not to try to get too close. And then bring the grain down. So all I do is just uh, purify the picture, get all the junk out of it. Like on some of the shots, the cameras are so grainy, I have to go take the grain out and smooth out the color. There's a little, you know, deal you could do. And all it does is just fill in the, you know, like there's like, you can see like the chant camera is really cheap and it leaves this grain looking texture. So how do you get rid of that? Especially if you zoom in on stuff like I see how smooth that looks. I, I haven't done nothing to it yet, but when you really look at it, it's not as smooth as you think. And then what you do is you put this little, um, when you do the dehazing, you degrain it too. And it really makes the picture look smooth, you know. You don't have all that junk from a cheap camera. Right? So, I'm kind of tired, guys. So, I'm talking really low. And I know I do that. So, I got the mic right up in my mouth. But these pictures right here are just... I mean, this is some of the best fire on... The sky on fire pictures I've ever seen. You know, this is going to be my billboard. <laughs> Check it out. Ain't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Maestro, where's the music? Hey, you guys. Take a little walk with me out here. Um, I'm grabbing something. Got a little surprise for you tonight. Okay. Let me get it all together. Let me set it up. Here we go. Take you outside.
Hidden 